up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I am doing a how-to, a tutorial for you that y'all have been asking for for a very, very long time. And trust me, I listen. So I finally got around to doing this tutorial for you. It is how to purchase items from Manjurake. So Manjurake is a Japanese retailer who has store locations all over Japan, all the way up to Sapporo, all the way down to Osaka and everywhere in between. So you can go to their website, which is mandarake.com, I believe. I'll put their link down in the show notes so that you can click on it and go straight over there and sign up. But you can go there and buy all sorts of used anime goods, which are not necessarily just Sailor Moon, but you can buy all sorts of goods. So Mandarake is great if you're looking for vintage items at a really good price, if you're looking for new items that might still be in the packaging and were just in some kind of collector's, I don't know, basement and they decided to resell them. But they generally have good prices. And if you decide to buy everything from one specific retail store, so like Sapporo Mandarake or Tokyo Mandarake in, I don't know, Nakano Broadway or something, then if you bulk up and buy everything from that one specific store and they ship it to you, the shipping is fairly priced. So it's a really good deal for some really awesome vintage goods. So let's check out my computer and I will show you how to purchase items from Mandrake. So you're gonna start out on this really blank, it's almost like a google.com website, but it says the rulers of time, Mandrake, earth or Japanese. So if you speak English, you will click on earth. This will automatically bring you over to Mandrake's website, which honestly looks like it was built in the 1990s. So it does look a little bit scary because there is so much information happening on there. But really the only things that you wanna be interested in are the links up at the top and the search bar, which is where you will search for items and where your cart is located. So if you are logging in and you see a bunch of Japanese writing, if you use Google Chrome, it will automatically translate it into your native language. So for me, it translates everything over to English. However, if I wanted to, I could reset that with that show original link, which shows up in the Chrome browser uh, back to Japanese, but I can't read Japanese very well, so I'm gonna stick with English. Okay, so you're going to click on that little button up at the top that says click here for membership registration. Once that loads, it will ask you to put in a mailing address and a password plus password confirmation. And then you'll have to type in, I'm not a robot and click send. Now, once you are registered on their website, it will send you a email confirmation, which you will click on and make sure that you read that email confirmation. And then you can go to, back to the website and actually log in. So this is what the login website looks like. So I just typed in my user ID or email address and the password and then you click log in. Now, once you log in, the main page looks like this. You will see some advertisements. You will see Mandrake's, all, all of their different Twitter accounts. And then up at the top are all those important links again. So if you go over to my page, which should say your last name, son, my page, then that will show you a listing of your cart, your order status, your keywords, favorite list, alert list, and edit registered information. All of those are pretty self-explanatory. However, if you do not understand what any of those mean, then I would recommend just reading the little information next to those links. Now over on the side, you will also see the same link. So you see order status, keywords, favorite list, alert list, edit information, and close account. You probably don't wanna close your account, so steer clear of that one. Uh, I'm gonna click on edit information, and this is where you can edit your registered information. So that includes information like your address, your first and last name, your country of residence, your postal code. So make sure that you put in your home shipping address right here, uh, whatever address you want them to actually ship all your stuff to, and they do ship internationally, which is wonderful. And then just click continue. Okay, so now you have all of your information set up. So now we can actually search for some kind of item. So I'm just gonna search for Sailor Moon. You'll notice that there's 17,689 plus items. That's a lot of items. So you can easily search for a lot of different names. Like you could put in Sailor Moon Q-Pot if you're looking for Q-Pot collectibles. You can look up Sailor Moon Super S if you're looking for Super S specific or Sailor Moon Bookmark or Sailor Moon Cards. There's a ton of cards available through Mandrake. 
Most of the names are written in English, so it's pretty easy to find whatever you're looking for. Now, if you find an item that you're specifically interested in, there's a couple of links right below the item. So you'll see the item Im image, you will see the name, you will see the price, which is in yen. So for example, this Shoet Sailor Moon figure is 10,000 yen, which is a little bit less than $100. And then you see cart and favorite. So if you wanna buy it immediately, you can add it to your cart. Also, you can add it to your favorites list, which is kind of like a wish list on any other retailer's online website. And then right below that, you have the store information where it's located at. So in this case, it's located at complex plus one other store. And right underneath that, if it's available at a bunch of different prices, you will see that it's also available between 80 or 8,000 yen and 10,000 yen. So around $80 to $100. That might mean that this one in particular, if it's $8,000, it might be an open box, or it might have had some kind of damage to it, something like that. However, the one that's 10,000 yen might be perfectly brand new. So if I click into this, I notice that the one at 10,000 yen is actually unopened. However, the package is somewhat damaged. Uh, they do tend to be pretty conservative with what they say about the items. And what I mean by that is if they say the package is damaged, it might just have like a teeny tiny mark in the corner. However, they are going to be like very worried that you're going to look at this and not want it because of that teeny tiny mark. Most of the items I've gotten from Mandrake have been in very good condition. So again, here we see the store, the price, and then that condition right there that says unopened and package damaged. Underneath all of that descriptive information is a whole bunch of bullet points. So most of these are copy and paste from every other product that they are selling. So it's basically just disclaimers like this item is secondhand, so it might have some deterioration or some minor stains or some color issues. The picture is for reference purposes. There are occasions where stickers stuck to the items such as prices and storage and control stickers might be on there. Unopened items might be open for inspection. They're not covered by warranty, etc., etc., etc. Basically, treat it like a garage sale or a yard sale where what you see is what you get. You will also see uh, regarding the product description. So this tells you a little bit more about the product description that was listed at the top. And then down at the bottom is where they list all the other ones that are currently available at other stores across Japan in Mandrake. So for example, while the first one was at Complex, this one is at Nagoya. So let's click on that one. Okay, so this one is 8,000 yen. And why is that? So I'm gonna go straight to condition. In this case, this one is opened and the package is damaged. So whoever owned this beforehand had opened the package and that's the only reason it looks like that you're gonna save 20 bucks. Otherwise, the package looks pretty good from the picture, especially if I zoom in. Like, I don't see any serious problems with it. However, the picture is pretty low quality, so there might be other things wrong with it, but it looks pretty good. And they will mention if anything's wrong with the figure as well. So let's go back to that first one. Let's say I want to have the one that's unopened. So I'm gonna add that to my favorite list and that would open up your favorite list and go ahead and add it to your wish list, which you can access at pretty much any time if you're interested in purchasing something at a later time. Now, something I wanna mention is since I've been using Mandrake for such a long time, uh, I've actually amassed so many things in my favorite list that I can't add anything else. So if you end up with 30 full pages of wishlist items, you will have to delete older items so that you can add new items to your wishlist. That's pretty easy to do if you have that issue because you can just delete the items that got sold or add them to a spreadsheet instead and then you can delete those items. In order to delete items from your favorite list, just hit the blue delete button and that's it. They will disappear off of your list, easy. Okay, so before we actually go in and purchase something, I also wanted to mention that there's a bunch of search categories that you can customize, so you don't end up seeing over 17,000 entries. So you can choose comics, goods, books under categories. If you scroll down a little bit, there's searching by shop, so you can search by the specific shop, all of the different mandrakes across Japan. Uh, under there is the number of items you see per page. Then you can choose to hide sold out items, which I always do. 
I can also set it to show me a max price. So anything under a 500 yen, for example, I could click on that. Then we see newly added items in the past 12, 18, 24, 17, 72 hours. There's uh, adult items, which you can show or hide. I generally hide those because I don't need to see them. And you can sort by date, price, title, or shop. The layout option will show you either images only, large or small thumbnails with their name or a detailed list. Condition gives you options to search by condition and then there's stock status over at the bottom. So now that I have searched and I have changed the items, so I've hid the adult items and I hid sold out items, it dropped it down to 4,600 items as opposed to over 17,000. So pretty big difference. All right, so let's say I want to purchase some items off of my favorite list. So I went back over to my favorites and I'm gonna look for something that I wanna buy. Let's see, I still can't add anything to my favorites list, so maybe I'll go ahead and delete something first. So I'm gonna delete this little sticker that sold out, and I'll go back to the third page, and oh, that crystal ball, it's sold out, darn. And the mirror sold out too. Man, those are popular items, I need to get on that next time I see those show up. Okay, there we go. So I actually purchased that last item that I had deleted, uh, that little bracelet item, uh, which you will see in a separate video. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and say that I want to purchase a couple of items. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to my cart. So those two mugs look super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my cart. So I'll add that first one, and when it opens my cart over on the side, you can see it shows up up at the top, listed under the store that it's available at. Uh, buy it later are basically a bunch of items that I had in my cart, and then I decided I didn't want. So those end up in your little buy it later list. However, you can just delete those if you don't want them anymore. So I bought that mug, or I'm going to, and then I'm also going to purchase that Nakano, the other Sailor Moon Cafe mug, because I think those are both really cute. Okay, so my cart is good. So once your items are ready to go in your cart, you hit complete Nakano purchase. So that is going to have just that specific store listed. Uh, if you are buying multiple items from multiple different stores, you can complete your purchase all at once, but it will be listed per store. So up at the top, there's a bunch of information about store items, how it's basically disclaiming like, if something is out of stock, then we can't ship it to you. Uh, if you're trying to order over 200,000 yen worth of stuff, then you will have to pay customs export declarations. So try to keep your order underneath that. Also, they link to an English guide that talks about how to use the uh, website and how to actually check out and the fees, etc. So that is listed there. I highly recommend that you read both of those too. Okay, so the items in your cart. So we see both of the mugs here. Both of them are 1500 yen. Uh, you can choose to cancel the order if a specific item is out of stock. You can also choose to buy it later or delete or you can delete all items in your cart if you want to. I'm gonna click Nakano order continue to checkout. And then here you can use the registered shipping address and click apply, which I highly recommend. That way you don't have to type in your address every single time. Uh, up at the top, there is a little bit of information about DHL shipping and addresses. It will let you know um, if you can use DHL as an option. Each field can contain a maximum of 35 characters, including spaces, and that is just a limit set by DHL's website and labels. So once all your information is filled in, go ahead and click on Go to Payment Shipping Method. So here you can type in whatever payment method you want, whether that's credit card, PayPal, or Alipay. I usually use credit cards, so I get the points because yay, point credit cards. And then you can choose your shipping method. Now, if you want to choose multiple shipping methods, that's totally possible. All you have to do is choose one, so like EMS or SAL or DHL, and then in the comment column, type in, please give me prices for XYZ shipping method as well. And they will give you that information before you check out. There is also a whole bunch of information down at the bottom for specific uh, countries, as well as that 200,000 yen customs declaration export fee down at the bottom. So apparently, uh, let's see, in Mexico, they can't do SAL and EMS. They are having heavy delays due to some 
in organization of local delivery service. So that sounds pretty bad. Luckily, I'm in the United States, so that's not something I'll have to deal with at the moment. But who knows, things might change here too. So before I click checkout, because I don't necessarily want to check out yet for this tutorial, I'm going to go back over to the main website and click on how to order. So this is a great little tutorial that they have written in English that describes how you actually order everything from their website. So it starts with registration, then it goes over to shipping and all that information, and then it goes over to checking out. Also, keep in mind that whenever you are choosing to buy something from Mandarake, uh, while they do accept PayPal, credit card, and Alipay, if you are ordering something to be shipped to you via mail, then you only have five days to pay for that item after they check their store stock to make sure that the items you ordered are available. So make sure you pay within five days. Also, if you're curious about those shipping options, they do have a whole bunch of information on another English tutorial page that lists each of the different options as well as the box sizes. So what kind of box fits, what kind of value, and how much stuff can you fit in one of those boxes, as well as which one you can choose based on that information. Now, as with previously, I would suggest reading over the shipping option page because it has a lot of valuable information as far as which one will probably get your stuff to you the fastest and which one will be the cheapest option. Usually I choose EMS because it's fast and it's reliable and it's inexpensive. However, sometimes DHL might be a better option if you have a small item that does not weigh a lot. Okay, so let's get back over to my cart and I'm gonna go ahead and type in my payment and shipping method information choose my shipping method. So I'm going to choose EMS. I don't have any comments to include, so I'm going to skip that part. And then I will hit go to confirm. And from there, you will see a confirmation website, which will list the items that you just wanted to purchase, as well as information on the store that they are available at. So this is where you can confirm and make sure that your address is correct, as well as the stock of inventory that you decided to purchase. Now it may take Mandrake a few days, but eventually they will email you and say whether or not the items were available. It'll give you a whole purchase price as well as what you owe for shipping. So when you receive that email, you will click on the link, which is inside the email, and then it will take you over to a page where you can actually process your payment. So this is where you will enter your PayPal information or your credit card information. For me, it's my credit card information. And then I just hit confirm and wait for it to load, and then you finish your purchase. After that, it takes Mandrake a couple of days to ship out your items, but once they ship out, if you chose EMS like I usually do, it only takes a few days from there for you to actually receive the items. Usually I get my items in less than a week, sometimes up to two weeks, but that's not very often. So hopefully this helps you buy items from Mandrake. I love Mandrake's website. I use it all the time to find vintage Sailor Moon items. And you know that I will be doing some more Mandrake unboxings right here for you in the near future. So let me know down below if you have any questions about purchasing items from Mandrake, or if you want me to do more tutorials just like this one about other Japanese websites that sell sell Sailor Moon merchandise. <laughs> Again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Johnny.